Hello, hello, family. Tammy Lynn here with a very beautiful and encouraging word from the Lord. Yesterday, I heard Deuteronomy 2-3 in my spirit. I heard the Lord say, you have been at this mountain long enough. I knew that he was speaking to someone. So someone who's under the sound of my voice, the Lord is saying, you have been at this mountain long enough. I asked him, what is the mountain? mountain, the one that you're speaking to, what have they been at um, long enough? And he woke me up this morning and spoke to me and said to tell you, you have been at that mountain of shame long enough. And he is wanting to speak to someone about the shame that you have been living in. Um, so much has uh, come to my spirit. You may be someone who your spouse walked out on you and you have been shamed by the abandonment. You have felt ashamed that you have been left and abandoned. You have been ashamed because the enemy has been shaming you. He has been telling you it is because you did this, because you did that, and that you deserved it. You have been at a mountain of shame long enough, the Lord says, and he's removing that shame. You may be someone that you have committed some sin in the past, and you have just been condemned by it. The Lord says you have been at that mountain of shame long enough that the blood has covered that which you did. Glory, hallelujah. Come on, I know I'm speaking to someone. You have been so strong on my heart because you are on the heart of the Lord. He says, behold, he's doing a new thing. That the time has come for you to step into this new thing he is doing. So he is delivering you from that mountain mountain of shame and he is making you whole again. He's delivering you from shame and he is restoring your joy. Glory. Hallelujah. Family, he is wanting to speak to you through his word. First, it's Deuteronomy 2, 3, where he is saying, you've been at this mountain long enough. It is time to come out of it. It is time to live again. It is time for your heart to beat again. It is time for for you to know joy again. Glory, hallelujah. To whomever the sun sets free is free indeed. He has been giving me this word freedom for months now. This is your season of freedom. Glory, hallelujah. I'm so excited for you. I know what it is like to be at a mountain of shame. And I also know what it is like to be set free. Glory, hallelujah. So I'm excited for your freedom. I'm excited about the work that he is doing in you. Glory, hallelujah, because he is making you whole again. Glory, hallelujah. A new version of you is coming forth. Glory, hallelujah. He is trading your ashes for beauty. Hallelujah. Your shame for a testimony of grace and mercy. Glory, hallelujah. Come on, get the word of God out. He's wanting to speak to you in this hour. You who have been living at a mountain of shame. It is your time of delivery. Glory, hallelujah. It is a time for you to be made whole again and again to begin to live again and live free in Christ Jesus who died so that you can live the abundant life here on earth. Glory, hallelujah. He is leading me into some scriptures and they're coming out of the uh Passions translation and the message uh, version. Some of you don't like other versions. You just like the King James and I like them all personally and I pretty much have all the versions, but I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to read out of the versions that uh, he is wanting me to read out of. The first one is in Romans 8, 1 through 4, and this comes out of the Passions translation. He says, so now the case is closed. He is co closing the case on the enemy. A time of judgment has come for the enemy. Glory, hallelujah. And God is bringing settlement to the situation. And again, he says he's closing the case. Glory, hallelujah. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one.
For the law of the spirit of life flowing through the anointing of Jesus has liberated us from the law of sin and death. Your time of liberation has come. Glory. Hallelujah. You are going to testify of this liberation that is coming to you. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. For God achieved what the law was unable to accomplish. Because the law was limited by the weakness of human nature. Yet God sent his son in human form to identify with human weakness, clothed clothed with humanity. God's son gave us his body to be the sin offering so that God could once and for all condemn the guilt and power of sin. So now... Every righteous requirement of the law can be fulfilled through the anointed one living his life in us. And we are free to live, not according to our flesh, but by the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I'm telling you, it is time for you to be free from the past. It is time for you to be free from that shame. It is time for your joy to be restored back to you and for you to live again and live the abundant life that Christ died for you to live. Glory, hallelujah. The next one is coming out of Isaiah 61 verse 7. This also is coming out of the Passion Translation. He says, because you received a double dose of shame and dishonor, you will inherit a double portion of endless joy and everlasting bliss. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. I'm telling you, he is delivering you from shame and he is restoring to you a double portion of joy. Glory, hallelujah. God does not waste anything. Glory, hallelujah. Lastly, is 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 through 24. Glory, hallelujah. This is coming out of the Message Bible. It says, may God himself the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. Put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he'll do it. He's going to do it. For his namesake, he is going to do it. He is going to deliver you from that mountain that has kept you from living abundant life, has kept you from living a life of joy, has kept you a prisoner to shame. The deliverer is delivering you. Glory, hallelujah. And he's going to restore to you double Double because of the shame that has been coming at you. The shame that has kept you a prisoner. Glory, hallelujah. And he says he is going to fill you with endless joy. Glory, hallelujah. He's doing a deep inner work in you. He is healing you from the inside out. Glory, hallelujah. And he's going to make you whole again. Glory, hallelujah. I'm so excited for you. My sister in Christ, my brother in Christ. God is doing a new thing. We are getting ready to enter into the new Jewish year, 5785. And he says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Glory, hallelujah. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.